Hello. The chat's in followers only mode now, so I don't have to deal with the spammers. Not that it matters. Nobody watches these anyway. All right. When we last left our heroes. Oh, things are about to happen. Let's see. So these are fire enemies, um, but I don't have any good fire armor. So we're just gonna do it. Yeah, my eye. My eyelashes are fighting each other. I swear there was... No, I guess it's just there now. Secret passageway in. I could have sworn there was like a, a quest to actually open that rather than just having it be open. And hope that you find it. Um, let's go up here first. I think this one is going to be the most annoying. No. No. That didn't really do much. That's the outside. Yeah. Don't attack me. You fool. I could have told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Uh, one more up. Don't you dare attack me. There's four of them here in this tiny, tiny little space. Cool. Alright. Now that I've figured out this strategy of line of sighting everyone... Yeah, it doesn't really do much. And I can't... Ah, okay, let's not use that ever again. Alright. Friends.
and then I hide back in my corner. They just keep giving themselves movement points, but can't do anything because I'm not light of sight, so... Cool. Thank you. Couldn't move anywhere to attack me because there's nowhere to attack me from. It's just a lot of... a lot of nyan, but not a lot of action. This one with impunity. Let's see. Harpoon does actually seem to be the best, so. Oh! Extremely the best. Alright. One down. I have gained nothing interesting from that. What's up here? I forgot what's up here. Nope. Uh, secret cave. attack me. Don't do it. You do it. You dingus. Nope. Nope. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. enough. Hey, buddy. What's up? should have. Yeah. Ah, uh, boom. Alright. Only a million more of these to go. Damn, I gotta use this harp just harpoon all the time. That's the play. Instead of the critical hits being like 40 or 50, the normal hits are 40 or 50, and the critical hits are like 120. Ah, dingus. Yes, 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 yes. No, please don't attack me. That's not what I want. Thirty-six. Nice. 
Uh, north and west is done. You can just go directly down. Don't you dare attack me. Nope. Dingus. Ha. Idiot. Can only go diagonal. You fool. You absolute clown. Piece of garbage. I actually just kind of wanted to be reminded of what that area looked like. Ah. Here's the five. Ah. Come on, someone attack me. I'm right up here. Waving my hand. Ah, well, oh well, it's fine. Oh, the tedium. Oh, they can attack me from there. Oh, at least it's only two of them. I hate you. This is the one. Alright, never mind. Forget the, the rat strat. Ow, oh, I moved incorrectly. Of course they did. I swear there was a um, a weapon let that let you bump them back from immediately in front of you, and I wish I could remember what it was, because that would be singularly useful right about now. Although, knowing my luck, it's probably not uh, compatible, like... I would use too many action points or something. No, 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 you don't get to box me in. So this is the troublesome bit with this. to go. Oh, here. I was trying to move to the spot I was already at. That doesn't work. Fools. I'm free now.
probably heal up a bit. Twenty-five, sure. I'll take it. Ten. Lost way more than that now. Fifteen? Hmm. Okay, now I'm extremely taking the L. That's good. That's a good amount of healing to have done in one turn. Of course, they've all hit me rather severely this time. Yep, they took it all right back away. Fourteen. If I just beat in that one and then started healing, it probably wouldn't be quite so doing bad. Okay, that's good. I think I remember the north one being the most difficult simply because I did not like them boxing me in. Yeah, it's ugly. Oh, it's just the model is missing the holes on it, no wonder. Not great. Um, but yeah, that one is probably actually the most annoying. Nope. Ha ha ha. You fool. You small idiot. You absolute clown. Your buffoonery knows no bow. <sighs> Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Cool. 
Did I write? Don't you... Don't. 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 Oh, you dingus. I hate you. I hate you so much. Get back here. I need to tell you to your face how much I hate you. I just thought it was vital for you to know. You know. Yeah, really isn't helpful. The only downside of the uh, harpoon is, uh, it's the harpoon, right? Yeah. Uh, is that you can't attack right next to you. It uses so little action points. It does so much damage. Hey, come here. Come here, bucko. That's how you... Uh, I should have thought this through a bit better. from you. Good. Come and get me, lads. I'm right here. Hello. Oh, they are. They are both, in fact, getting me. Line of sight, yes. I missed what that text said because I was looking away. gonna run away and let me out of here. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to use the harpoon. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, water time.
Don't you attack me. Don't you attack me. Don't you attack me. That extremely does not do any good, that weapon. I should just not have it, honestly. Don't. I forgot if the Nui launcher is something you can get normally if it's only with cheats. Because that's like an area of effect uh, weapon. It does like a across five five square uh, all right Beric tells me that the Paraka had some of their Matoran slaves bury equipment somewhere under the rock we're not sure what it is or why they hid it there but we're gonna get our hands on it to dig through stone, you're going to need special tools. Talk to Velika at the fortress and he'll make you some. When you have the tools, free three Matoran slaves and talk to them. They'll help you find the hidden equipment. Uh, gonna have to go back to the fortress. Velika's gonna tell us. Whoops. Uh, he lost his tools. Uh, monkey took them or something. Uh, on the other side of the island, somehow, uh, and we would, yeah, I'd, he would like us to go get them for him, uh, with the help of Piruk, uh, who is, um, ate some expired food and is now sick and needs me to go to the store and get him some Tom's. Uh, but uh, they don't know where the store is, so I have to go back to Garen and talk to Garen to uh, to figure out where to get Tums. Don't you? What? Nothing happened. No, I only I'm allowed to do that. Actually, let's just get this out of the way. Scout Nectans out here. Yep. What a surprise. It's a lot of damage. on the inside, I gotta remember that. The spider weaves many webs, but it only hides in one. A treasure hunt, is it? I can craft the rock digging tools you need, but I'll need strong metal to forge them. Fiku spun metal makes for strong webs and for strong tools. Battle Fiku spiders, Toa, and bring me ten pieces of their metal, then I will make you your tools. I 
can't remember who actually... Or if there even was... Some sort of weapons crafting system in this. Maybe it was Balta. Oh no, the Talon is the, uh, Claw. What's the Slash, then? Uh, fire... Not the Ripper, that's the Saw. Yeah, these really just aren't worth it yet. I feel like more of them unlock as you progress and unlock different types of weapons, but to be determined. I feel like the, um, that sort of weapons trading or crafting system is somewhat dependent on your playstyle being more aggressive, in that you kind of have to get into more battles to get more shards to get those, versus just exploring. Yeah, come here, you little bug. Massy insect. Don't you, you absolute clown. Little turd. Yep. There we go. It's like I'm a DJ mixing these two tracks together, just cutting back and forth between the two of them with with surprising frequency. Jack up here, yes.
good, 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 good. Oh, there's a little pile there. I probably already noticed that when I passed through it before, but now I noticed it again. Ten. Almost halfway there. Yay! attack me. Cool. Oh, there's none up here. I have left their territory. Seriously, run out of him? Oh, you dingus. Yeah, go away. Nobody likes you. You're like a more annoying kind of crab. I was gonna say, why aren't there crabs in this game? But then I remembered there are, and they're not actually that great. Increased range. I don't particularly care. There we go. Cool, I've positioned myself exactly on the opposite side of the Black Rocks from where I need to go, giving me the longest possible route back in either direction. Good game. I know the things. I wonder how much time and effort it would take to completely clean out the entire map of all of the enemies. All possible enemies, that is, because I know, like, some of them. I'm pretty sure 
well. I don't know for sure, but the times I've tried to fight the blocking lava ape, I don't think it's meant to be defeated. In fact, now that I think about it, I remember reading that uh, if you do beat it, uh, it there's just a like a the the log bridge gets covered by some environmental thing anyway. So, but of course, even if you did that, it would uh, reset as soon as you launch the game again. So it's not like it would achieve anything for you unless you were planning on keeping the game running forever and ever. small hut, bigger on the inside, right. Although I guess these could technically be underground. To pierce the stone, use a harder stone. Well done, Toa. Here are your rock digging tools. Garen will tell you where to find the slaves that you must free. Use these protodermer spheres to release them from the Paracas control. Because it does seem to imply that they are going, they're sloping down onto the ground, which is cool. Although this doesn't, that wouldn't really be necessary if that was hidden underground. I do love a good. Hmm. I do love a good yawn. I do love a good like false building that hides a like underground complex. Those are pretty cool. Uh, I got just looked past my laptop at my uh, little desk companions over on this side. I have Cat Noir and Bun, uh, along with uh, Bad Guy and Vakama and this Air Gaffna. What? Oh, it's Burnak. Defense armor of air. Oh, I already have. <laughs> That's my second one. Cool. Great. Glad I have that. Is this power stone? Yeah, same. Useless kind of thing. Um, got a couple of Bricklink orders on the way. One is just a bunch of Galador parts. Um, I actually kind of want to review what the order is because I'm excited because uh, that's the kind of person I am oh yeah the reason I placed that order was because the um, Euripides staff uh, I got a notification that it was available so I placed an order at the store that I was, it was uh, in stock in. Yeah, let's see, I got the uh, uh, black Coley Matoran torso to go with the uh, Matoran that I'm building, which, you know, <laughs> you may recognize. I have uh, built this sort of custom head. Uh, it doesn't really look good underneath the mask, it's just meant to Hold the mask and look. All right, talk to Garen. You have the tools from Velika. Excellent. The slaves that you must speak with are working on a set of cave. Are, are working in a set of caves. Pyrrhic is sure that they are the ones that buried the equipment, and when freed, each should be able to tell you where a piece is hidden. Look at your map, and I shall mark the location of the three caves. Head north first, then west, and finish by the southern one. Return when you have found what we seek. All right, now we're now we're going to the hidden caves that I found before. 
All right, the uh, Euripides staff obviously is the uh, the main thing. Uh, <laughs> um, I also bought Kiwop's head, which is the little tiny robot dinosaur uh, lizard thing, uh, just for the heck of it. Uh, I bought Allegra's head, the uh, the girl character. Uh, frankly, because the idea of having the connection point on the back of her head where her hair goes is funny. Um, and I want to see if I can, like... Oh, I already used my action points. I want to see if there are any possibilities there. Uh, really? Yeah, go away. Uh... The... I don't remember why I wanted to buy this, but the... Cone piece that's like a stepped drill. Like the, uh... It's like the smaller version of the Power Miner's drill. I don't remember why I bought that. It might be... Oh, I think it, I think it's for my Matoran. I think I want to give him like a, um... Like a, a drill staff, like a... <laughs> Like Shimon from Gurren Lagan, actually. No, why do I keep hiding? Reflexively going too fast. Uh, let's see. There's the the big like pentagonal armor, organic armor piece in dark red. I got the flamethrower arm from Jens. The smaller armor piece uh, in black. Uh, Allegra's hair. I've actually kind of wanted that piece for a while. Uh, I just haven't seen it readily, readily available in places that I wanted to place an order from. Um, it just looks like... <laughs> it's one of those pieces where I'm like, man, this could probably be really cool in something, and I don't know what, but I want to try. Uh, powerful lifestone. Ooh. I like this one. Literally no downsides in upgrading. No trade-offs whatsoever. It's just better. That's all there is to it. Rock, I must find the mask of life. I am free? Free, thanks to you, Toa. Let's get out of here. What? Bury equipment? Oh, I remember. I will lead you to the location of the equipment I hid. The black rocks are dangerous for Matora. I will need your protection as we walk. Why is it so far? The, um... The animation of the sprites... Uh, the Nectan sprites. It looks like the... Uh, like the head sphere piece uh, went grayscale when it fired that uh, fireball, and I'm wondering if they just didn't... Uh, well, I'm wondering if for like some of the animations uh, they didn't bother making variants for the various colors of Nectan. Uh, if they just sort of reused small bits here and there. Cool. I uh, discussed with the tourist lab. This is where I buried the equipment. Yay. 
Equipment, first part. Founder, where do you want to go? Hmm. Let's go to Garen. I want to help you. Oh, right. We have to go one by one. I guess gradually clearing out the entire Black Rocks area as we go, since these fools keep wanting to fight. Ooh, medium defense groups of fire. Actually helpful in this case. Although only minorly so. Oh no, it didn't register. Medium defense armor of fire, you say? Mm -hmm. Give me, I say. <laughs> I keep forgetting there's obstacles in this world. Like, there's the Black Rocks area in the way, and there's a giant lava lake in my way. Let's see. Uh, I got the backpack, like the street three-strapped backpack. Uh, and that's it for that order. I mentioned the Vatoran or so, right? Oh god, god. Hold on, do I have you found the equipment? There we go. Excellent. I'll try my best to figure out what sort of object we can make with this. You should go and try to free another slave while I work. Travel west of the Black Rocks, and good luck. Um... And then the other order I only placed a few days ago, but it's for uh, the... Like the curved uh, wedge slopes. I uh, like like the these pieces. Oops. But with the like the corner uh, cut off in like a triangle. Yeah, I have ordered a bunch of them in yellow because they have recently come out in yellow, and I would very much like to update Cat Noir's head uh, because well. I am somewhat happy with his uh, overall. Oh dear, oh, that's fine, I guess. The overall tousledness of his hair, uh, it does look a bit too blocky, and I do kind of want to uh, hide the the brick heads look a little bit better, uh, just because it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I, I sort of did it as a joke, um, but also it, it looked it looked way better than the original head, which was just like this little. It's like he had a coconut sitting on his his body in terms of scale, and it was weak and sparse looking, and just generally. Uh, kind of not what I had envisioned for it. So I really like that I was able to replace it with like the Brickheads version. Uh, but even so, that needs some updating to have some nicer... Oh boy. It's 
some nicer shaping to it. Um, oh, and while, while I was shopping there, um, I also bought some, so let's see, for the, for the yellow ones, about ten of each side, because it's, it's not a symmetrical piece, it's, uh, it's got a right and a left. Yo, let us absolutely go. I'm just entirely skipping the noble Kanohi. Which are absolutely a thing. That's, that's like the mid range mask. Pretty sure. Uh, what if I go up here? And then I go down here. Yeah. yeah. So about ten of each. Uh, two tan versions of each side because I do kind of want. Part of the getting out of the brickhead's mold would be to uh, the jawline right here is not is not the most organic looking. I want to see if I can do something to fix that. I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, but I want to give it a shot. Uh, and then also I saw an opportunity. Okay, hiding. Immediately hiding. Run. Uh, there's a there's a dark blue version of those pieces as well. So I bought a bunch of those, twelve of each. Uh, oops, I gotta talk to this. Don't attack me, don't you dare attack me. Cool. Um, bought a bunch of blue of each and also of the uh, two by two, just normal curved slope. That was like the doubled up version of that piece I showed. Uh, because I kind of want to make a ladybug too. Uh, I still have no idea how I'm going to do that, but right, I killed everything in here. Uh, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to make the the body for Ladybug, because uh, I can't use really the same uh, techniques as I did on Cat Noir uh, for like anatomy purposes, and also the Galador limbs don't come in that color, etc. Uh, plus her costume has slightly different stylings than his does. Uh, yeah. But I want to see if I can make the head. At the very least. Wait, did I? Now I'm mad. I guess I had to talk to him a third time to get him to actually follow me. Ugh. 
yeah, so I bought a bunch of pieces to do that. Um, I didn't actually... Well, I bought enough of the... I don't know if I bought enough of the tan pieces to do a a proper, like, face area for Ladybug, but... Uh, the... At the very least, I'll be able to make the, the general head round shape. The hair. Um, the, uh... That, uh... One and two-thirds brick tall or five plate tall brick with the four studs on the side is uh comes in more colors now uh it comes in uh ye yellow or no comes in tan which i will be making use of for cat Nora's updated head structure uh, it also comes in dark blue uh so i went for eight of those Uh, because the sort of design I'm thinking for uh, Ladybug's hair would require some of that to be slightly visible. So I would need it to match the color and not just be these gray things poking out of her head. At some point, I also need to, uh, nope. Uh, actually get the pieces for the Lady Noir head. Did order extra eyes, just in case. Okay, and then we'll, uh, amphitheater shaped, half rounded. Plates. Or tiles, not plates. I ordered two more of the little, like, barbell shaped wheels that go on the bottom of the roller coaster pieces, because in a previous Brickling Quarter, I had ordered two of the coaster carriages. Uh, but I had, for some reason. I didn't expect any less from a great toy like you. Please save the last Matoran slave. He should be south of the Black Rocks. Uh, for some reason, I interpreted those little two little clips it has under the sides to hold onto the track. I thought that was the um, that was where the wheel the wheels were, and I thought it only had one set of wheels on it rather than the uh, two. So I bought two of the coaster bodies and two of the wheels. So I need to buy two more of the wheels so I can actually have a functioning pair of coasters. I, I kind of figured I would... Uh, I should probably actually make use of all that coaster track I got in the... Uh, Lug buckle order I was part of a couple years ago. More water time. Now this thing is... Nope, gotta talk to him again. This thing is doesn't remember where he buried the thing. This much I remember. I don't remember where I hit the equipment, but I'm sure it's not too far from here. Yeah, it's like down here or something. It's that stuff we saw earlier. Or 
right. Oh, right. I was confused by my uh, positioning. I thought I was supposed to have like come out down here or something, but no, here it is. Equipment third part. I found it. Thank you. Please bring me to the other freed slaves. I want to see my friends again. Just tell me when you're ready to go. So glad I will soon see my comrades. Um, anyway, while I was uh, ordering from the store, I figured I might as well grab some other pieces, so I bought uh, 16, I believe was their entire stock of uh, the yellowish-green uh, in Invasion from Below Claw. I have plenty in black, uh, but I don't know how, I don't believe I have a lot in yellowish-green. Pretty sure I don't. I probably should have checked before. There might have been a lug bulk order in which I got a bunch of those. Now that I think about it. Although I think it was red. Nope, I bought 50 of them before. Nice, cool, awesome. <laughs> oh well, now I'll have extras. Oh, heck you. Third piece, all right. Thanks for bringing extra help. Uh, they're actually cheaper on the Bricklink order than they were in the Lug Bulk order. That's kind of funny. Um, anyway. Uh, but I also bought uh, 20 of the blue ones that came in that Spider-Man set. Okay. Thanks for bringing the extra help. We can fix the weapon, but we need materials. You can hunt down the parts that we need to finish the repairs. There are also crabs that live in the caves near a small lake. Ah, oh, it's these ones. The entrance hidden by rocks. They have very strong shells, perfect for our needs. These aren't like the Essel that you may have met before. They're dangerous and very aggressive. If you can bring me three shell pieces, that should be all we need. Um, I also bought uh, 24 black Chima wings and uh, if any of the thought hearing this is well what are you going to use those for uh, you do not think the way I do uh, alternatively you think exactly the way I do, because I'm thinking, what am I going to use these for? Except I'm saying it in an excited way, not like a curious or accusatory way. Oh, these... these buggers. Oh, okay. Right, movement points. Doesn't matter. Wrecked. Absolutely destroyed. Oh, heck. Well. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't just focusing that one. Because I'm a fool, that's why. Alright, 
Ooh, attack rate can only have water. It's Galinuva. You can sort of see the eyes under there. Um, yeah. I imagine I'll use the uh, feathers as like a, a skirt or a dress or like some sort of... Other such uh, sort of feature sculpting. Wait, did I? I do have three. All right, cool. <laughs> did you find the cave? I recall I once found that cave by running straight from the bridge until I reached some rock pillars. Then I fell in a hole. Good luck, and watch out for holes. Great, that's perfect. Now let's put everything together. Aha! So that's how it works. Here, take this with you. It will do stone damage to your enemies. The Braca are sure going to miss this. Are they? What is it? I don't I don't know what I got. Uh, from what we've heard, the Paraka don't like each other much. That's something we can use to our advantage, Toa. Zaktan especially mistrusts the others. He's hidden some of his supplies to make sure the other Paraka don't take them when his back is turned. Unfortunately for him, we're going to take them instead. I'll show you the spot on your map. We've seen Nectan groups carry Zaktan's supplies into this cave. One of the Matoran that you freed says the other that there are three entrances. Check them out and pick up one. Then find the supplies, take them, and get out of there. Oh, there we go. Stone Ripper. See, I don't even want to use this, because its action point cost is... extremely high. Um, let's see, other things in that Bricklink order, I bought eight of the white, sort of like balloon curved uh, panels, uh, because that's what I used for Bun's ears, and I really like them. They're cool pieces, and I want to do more with them, so I bought a bunch. I also bought a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but four of the white uh, round tile with the spiral pattern just so I can make Cat Noir and maybe Ladybug eventually uh, dizzy. I think that'd be funny looking. Interesting. Ah, oh, Master Nectan. Gotta be this way.
don't. It did. Oops, skip defense. Oh well. Man. I don't want to sequence break this, because I might actually break it, and I do not want to do that. Um. As much as I like this game, I don't trust it. It is. More than 14 years old. 15 since it was being developed, probably. So I don't really want to chance it. Ice Gaffna? What the hell are you doing here? Nothing else interesting for the Bricklink uh, situation. This is discussed with Garen, not talk to Garen. So. Back already? What did you find at the cave? Uh, I saw three entrances to the cave, guarded by powerful looking Nicktown. Let's see what this is. Go back and check again, Toa. Alright. Your spying would do Pyrrhic proud, Toa. Your next task is to get into the cave and take everything you can find. Pick the entrance with the least amount of next hand on guard. Hide from them and avoid fighting at any cost. You should be alright once you've passed them. Remember to hide. I'm gonna fight them. I'm gonna hit them with my hands. Oh, the cave. Go to the cave. Looks like I'm gonna be headed to the cave. Guess we're going in this one. Ice power launcher.
there's the noble Kanohi. I was wondering if I would ever see one. Go faster. Nope. <sighs> Using my smart brain. Prove teleportation back. The heck does that do? Yeah, now I've done it. I didn't remember to hide. Starting to see the problem. Right. Action points. Oh well. An absolutely lost cause anyway, because that enemy disappeared and glitched out. And... Therefore, I did not lose the fight. I'm going to declare that right now. I made the enemy hide. They were so scared of me. Dang it. Ah, uh, this one, though. This one I lost. I lost super hard. Um. Ha, nerd. Missed me. Is this how it's gonna go? I probably should have re equipped that, that stone. I'm extremely going to just fall over into a bunch of pieces right here. Oh, nice, but. It must just be, like, charging up for its powerful attack again. There we go. No, don't. Ah, uh, why? I wish you could choose the run. The movement speed. Oh, that's...
Okay. Well, I stealed the equipment and uh, only lost a bunch of health. Uh, right, and let's not let's not mess with that anymore. Let's just keep being better. This one is a talk to Garen. There you are. While you were at the cave, Zactan attacked the Matoran Fortress. There are Nectan and Paraka guardians everywhere. The other, Mator the other free Matoran are trapped inside. Hurry, you've got to help them. Get rid of the Paraka's forces before it's too late. Uh... Yeah, there's... they're all in the houses. Blah. Go away. How many fire shards I got? Thirteen fire shards. Why though? Just why? Why? Oh right, there's still Ussel Crabs. Like I remembered that when I was given the mission, but then I forgot it on the way here. I was scouting next hand, of course.
Oops. Am I attacked by a repair nectan? I'm attacked by a repair nectan. Counting also crabs as all enemies. Ugh. Heck you, game. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Extra heck you, game. East? Seems like a weird order to do things in. Sure. Defense. Alright. Oh, I should have been paying attention to the, uh, animations to see if it was in fact uh, the same. I'm attacked by a combat nectar. Yep, it's definitely not colored. I'm attacked by a repair nectar. Your turn. It is my turn. I'm too busy, little Toa. I'll come back later. Of course. And up there's everyone. There's absolutely everyone. Oof. 
What? That's some heckin' long range there, buddy. Stone. West. This boy's gonna pull me in, isn't he? There we go. I do believe I've mentioned it before, but I do very much like the Nectan's design. They're very cool. I like scuddly robots, so it's right up in my alley. Boop. I, my hair and my eyelashes are fighting. I feel like... Talk to Kazi. I feel like a result of having to wear a mask all the time is that, like, it's... Despite how good the seal is, uh, there's still like an updraft on my eyes and it's sort of like messing with me. Well fought, Toa. I probably could have taken them all myself, but well, it was a good to have you helping out. Oh my god. Here, I've got a Toa-sized weapon for you. I'd use it, but it's a little too big for me to swing around. Hmm, water talon.
All right, cool. I could use this three times in a, in a round, so talk to Garen. I feel like we have to be coming up on a, a new chapter. Or at the very least, like the climactic showdown of this chapter. Take it. All right. Up oh, there we go. The Paracas Virus Factory, Chapter Six. Finally time to deal with the Paraka Stronghold, my brave Toa friend. The Stronghold is where the Paraka make their launchers and the terrible Zamorsphere's that have enslaved our fellow Matoran. We're going to destroy their weapons. No more innocent Matoran will fall under the control of the, that band of thieves. And, as a bonus, it should slow down the Paraka's hunt for the Mask of Life. Go to the Paraka Stronghold in the Black Rocks, destroy the guards, and try to get inside. If you have any trouble, come back and speak with me. Your mission begins in earnest now, Toa. Gee, I wonder if we're gonna encounter any troubles getting into the frickin' Torrens or Paraka stronghold. Um, well. I think that is a good time to stop. Got a new chapter. Exploring new areas. Not really, but exploring more of the same areas. I'll probably be continuing this next week. I don't know what my next few weeks are like. I still gotta figure out how to get the rest of the games set up, like the console games and the, the PC games should be simple enough, but I gotta get an emulator and stuff, for, and I haven't even begun to do that yet, and I don't feel like it. So, we'll see. We'll see when I get around to that. So, alright. Be back in a week.